After playing Becky for the first five seasons of the show, winning the heart of many along the way, Goranson abruptly left Roseanne in 1993 and was replaced by Sarah Chalk. Why did she leave a show that gave her a start in her acting career and made her a household name to many? In today's video, we'd be uncovering the real truth behind Gorison's abrupt departure from the show. While it's a very risky business to give an actress with no acting experience a huge role in a TV show as big as Roseanne, Lisey Gorison made quite the difference. With no experience in the industry before she played Connor's spunky eldest daughter, Becky, in the ABC sitcom, she won the hearts of many. And Till Today is arguably one of the biggest stars the show produced. Television shows might run for decades in the 80s and 90s, as networks are not so keen on giving up on a show bringing in the numbers. So it's quite understandable if an actor gets sick of playing the same role over and over again and decides that they want out. With that said, Becky's decision to quit the show would not have been too big of a deal had things played out normally. A lot of TV fans have probably sat through one or two recasting situations. But here is the strange thing that happened after Goranson departed from the show. Roseanne was playing a hard game of switches with Goranson and Chalk, with the fans not knowing who they would see in a particular episode. And to the reason why Goranson left, she left the show to go to college. One can hardly blame her for choosing to quit the show for college. In 1992, at age 18, Goranson left ABC's sitcom to move to New York to pursue a college education at the Vassar College in Poughkeepsie. She came back to California, according to Entertainment Weekly, to take classes at UCLA. Through the fifth season, to accommodate Goranson's request to leave the show, Roseanne's producers came up with a storyline where Goranson made a few appearances before eloping with her boyfriend, Mark, actor Glean Quinn, and moved out of the state. This allowed her to continue with her studies and occasionally star in the show when her college schedule permitted her before she was replaced by future Scrub star Sarah Chalk in the sixth and seventh seasons. Although it took a while for the fans to adjust to Chalk, they eventually grew fond of her, which made it stranger when Goranson returned to the show in the eighth season. Both actresses shared the role of Becky, with Chalk filling in for Goranson due to her school schedule. Though she would later leave the show for good in the ninth season, Chalk continued for the rest of the series. Goranson, in an interview with Vulture, said that she felt frustrated and sad when she left the show. It's not like I felt guilty of going to college, she said. I didn't feel I made the wrong decision, but maybe I wanted to check in with that other life and revisit it. The screenwriters figured out an interesting way to solve the Roseanne reboot issue in 2018. They wanted both actresses in the show, but couldn't have two Beckys. Chalk appeared as a new character, named Andrea. The two characters' paths crossed when Andrea, a married woman who was looking for a surrogate, contracts Becky to carry her baby. A really clever way of twisting the plot to bring the two Beckys back on TV screens again. Goranson also left the show because she was craving normalcy and being around her own peer group after years on the show. She was just 14 years old when the show debuted in 1988, and I guess that time on the show took her normal childhood away from her. After the Roseanne spin-off series, Goranson had other significant film roles, playing Can Dance in the 1995 film Boys Don't Cry, and more recently made minor appearances in the 2018 movie From Russia With Hate and Buck Run in 2019 making several guest appearances in shows like Sex and the City, Law and & Order, and Inside Amy Schumer. In her post-Roseanne film roles, she is normally credited as Alicia rather than Lisi. She also appeared on Larry King with the cast of Roseanne and objected to episodes that focus on homosexuality. Goranson, now 48, lives in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, New York, and keeps in touch with her fans with her online blog, Don't Shoot the Messenger, and has a reported net worth of $3 million. So, do you have any fond memories of Roseanne, or it just concluded spin-off The Connors? Tell us about it in the comments section, and while you're at it, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'd be really honoured if you'd subscribe to my channel. I talk about movies from the 80s and 90s, you know, the good stuff. Thank you for watching.